today I'm bringing you an art tale inspired by the French artist Henri Matisse. Let's find out how Henri discovers a new way to paint without using a paintbrush. Turn your listening ears on and let's get started. Henri Scissors by Jeanette Winter. In a small weaving town in France, a young boy named Henri Emile Benoit Matisse watched his mother paint China. He wanted to paint too. He drew pictures in the sand and he drew pictures in his school books. When Henri was a young man, he drew pictures in his law books and on contracts, deeds, and wills. Henri was sick in bed with appendicitis one winter. His mother gave him a box of paints and he painted until he was well. He kept on painting, forgot about law, and left his small town to be an artist in Paris. Henri painted pictures day after day and year after year. He was happy and his paintings made people happy. But when Matisse was an old man, he fell ill. So ill he couldn't paint, so ill he couldn't sit up, so ill he could only lie in bed and sleep. His paintings floated by in his dreams. Matisse finally opened his eyes and they were filled with sadness. Now he must remain in bed or use a wheelchair. Would he ever have the energy to paint again? When Matisse was strong enough to travel, he went to the seaside. The sea air might help him get well. Before long, he sat up. A little later, he drew. Then one day, Matisse picked up a pair of scissors and cut out shapes from painted paper. He was drawing with scissors. A pair of scissors is a wonderful instrument. Matisse cut paper all day. His assistants painted paper for him all day. My pleasure in cutting things out grows even greater. Why didn't I think of it earlier? Paper cutouts covered his walls. It seems to me that I am in a second life. One evening, Matisse lay in bed and drew the faces of his grandchildren on the ceiling with a piece of chalk tied to a long pole. As he fell asleep, they looked down on him and saw his dreams. They saw the shapes that surrounded him in sleep. As time went on, Matisse cut bigger and bigger shapes. They filled his seaside room with color. You see, as I am obliged to remain often in bed, I have made a little garden all around me where I can walk. There are leaves, fruits, a bird. I am deeply contented, happy. Then one night, Matisse walked out into his paper garden and the rainbow of shapes cradled the old artist and carried him into the heavens. Are some of the stars we see at night coming to us from Henri's scissors? Perhaps. Thank you for listening carefully to this art tale. More art tales can be found in the education section of our website at www.nga.gov. There you can find fun art making and art looking activities inspired by Matisse and other artists. We hope to see you again next time.